everyone. I am a volunteer with For a Safer Space. Today's presentation is about tardive dyskinesia. I would like to begin this presentation with a land acknowledgement. And this is for Toronto where the Dish with One Spoon territory is located, as well as Toronto Metropolitan University. The Dish with One Spoon is a treaty between the Anishinaabe, Mississaugas, and Haudenosaunee that bound them to share the territory and protect the land. Subsequent Indigenous nations and peoples, Europeans, and all newcomers have been invited into this treaty in the spirit of peace, friendship, and respect. Today's agenda will include an introduction about tardive dyskinesia, the symptoms, treatment and prevention, and lastly, the conclusion. Introduction about tardive dyskinesia. Tardive dyskinesia is an uncommon side effect caused using antipsychotic medications that are prescribed to treat mental illnesses. People suffering from this drug-induced movement disorder are unable to control their facial movements. PD causes stiff, jerky movements of one face and body, such as lip smacking, tongue thrusting, and rapid blinking. Tardive means delayed or late and dyskinesia refers to involuntary muscle movements. There is a lag between starting a medication and developing dyskinesia in this condition. Symptoms. PD symptoms can include hand and leg jerking movements, twisting of the neck, having difficulty swallowing, Grimacing and blinking of the eyes, and lip smacking and unintentional tongue movements. Most people experience TD symptoms after several years of taking antipsychotic medications, but they can appear within a few months. Or the movements only become apparent after a person stops taking the medication. Treatment and prevention. When your doctor prescribes a new medication to treat a mental health disorder, inquire about the potential side effects. The drug's benefits should outweigh the risks. Inform your doctor if you have movement issues, but do not stop taking the medication on your own. Your doctor can either discontinue or reduce the medication that is causing the movement. You may need to change to a newer antipsychotic medication that is less likely to cause TD. To treat tardive dyskinesia, the FDA has approved two medications. Number one, do you touch a benazine? And number two, salvenazine. Now we'll go over resources. The most important thing to take away from this video is that there's support and help available. For an immediate mental health crisis, reach out to a crisis slide for support. For non-immediate mental health support, a useful resource is For a Safer Space. For a Safer Space is a nonprofit that offers accessible and inclusive mental health care. Visit the website for more information if you'd like to reach out for support. That concludes the presentation on tardive dyskinesia. Thank you for watching.